Honey, I've been running around and doing all this shopping and also uploading TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Burlington Shop With Me. So now it's time for me to show you guys what I have picked up. And I have really found me some really good deals. So without further ado, let's get right into this TJ Maxx, Burlington, and Marshalls haul. I picked up the Aura from Moogler. Eau de Parfum Sensual. So you guys, and you can see, it's not open. I saved it. So let's go ahead and get it open, honey. Let's go ahead and look. I got to be careful. I can't bust up the packaging. This was $49.99. And if I do not like it, guess what? She's going next to the store. Yes. So let me put that down nicely, gently, okay, so I don't rip it. So here we are, the packaging. It's a soft pink with this lime green, honey. Oh, oh, I smell this. Oh, look at there. This packaging is so pretty. Look at this. This is the 30 mil. You guys, I smell this coming out the box. Like somebody sprayed the box or something or it leaked a little bit or something. Oh, 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 let me, honey, let me spray this. Here goes nothing. I'm a little scared of Moogler fragrances, okay? I am a little scared. Okay, here goes nothing. Mm, this is a little bit sweeter than the um, it's softer. You can definitely get that 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 Moogler DNA. Not bad though. Am I smelling vanilla? Mm, not bad. That surprised me. Okay, or a sensual. The packaging is pretty. I'm definitely going to have to wear this one and let you guys know my full thoughts on it. But first impression, not bad. Not bad. Let me smell it again. I like this. I kind of like this. A little surprising. Moogler is a house that you don't want to just, you know, just kind of just be blind purchasing. But I had um, heard about this. So I just wanted to try it. I'm so glad. But it was $50. This was $50 for one ounce for 30 mil. So we're just going to have to see. But yes, okay. Okay, so this next one, you guys, I did open. I only saved one. I had to open the other one, honey, because I was just too impatient. I had to smell it. I got the Roses de Chloe. Now, I am building my uh, my my Chloe collection. I have the Chloe Eau de Parfum. I have Chloe Low Love Story. Yes, I have those three. And now I have Roses to Chloe. And this one, oh, this pricing on this was $59.99. Yeah, this was 60 bucks. It was a blind purchase. It's a 1.7 ounce. I already sprayed this nice. I could not hold off on this one. And this is what she looks like. So in the bow, it's like a rosy, like a mauve rose color. So, oh, you guys, this liquid lipstick right here, this Be So Shimmer, that is gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it. So let me go ahead and spray this Roses to Chloe. And first off, this is a pretty rose. This is a very pretty rose. This is a nice... It's like a sparkling rose. This like a sparkling, bubbly, champagne -y rose. This is really pretty. I like this. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I opened it in the car and I sprayed it on an envelope, I had a little envelope in the car and I sprayed it. I was like, huh? Because when I sprayed it in the car, I just didn't really know what to expect. And honey, if I didn't like it, to be honest, I think I would have ran back in that store and got my money back right then and there. <laughs> I don't even think I would have waited. But roses to Chloe, not bad, not bad. I like it. I like it. I'm going to have to wear it. I haven't worn it yet. I'm going to have to wear it and see how I feel. But overall, not bad, not bad. And that one is Roses to Chloe. I think I'm going to keep this one as well. Okay, so we're going to move right on along. My battery getting ready to die. I've been talking for so long. This video is going to be long, honey, because I am not cutting out a lot of parts. I'm just going to let it flow. It's just going to flow. So you ain't going to see a whole bunch of jump cuts and edits and all that stuff. We ain't going to do that. But this next one that I got, is it was from Burlington and it's also from the house of Moogler. You guys, I had never heard of these. And when I seen this, I hurry up and I purchased it. This is the Moogler Secret Eau de Toilette. And this was in the one point, this was the 1.7 ounce, which is the 50 mil. And this one was $29.99, you guys. So... Yes, she comes. All of their packaging is kind of the same. It has that Moogler the circle. And this is the bottle. You guys, I already sprayed it. Honey, I cannot wait. And let me go ahead and spray it again real quick. The sprayer on this is really good. Really, really good. Yes, okay. 
very juicy fruit. And first impression was like, Ugh. I'm not going to keep this. I'm just going to keep it real. Like right now, we ain't going to waste no time on it. But uh. so as far as this Moogler secret or the toilet, you guys, this is going back. I can already tell you that right now because uh, I mean, you do get that. I do pick up that juicy fruit. It has like a, um, I look at the notes. I think it has like Kamaquat. Kamaquat is juicy. Okay, you can definitely smell that. It's very juicy and citrusy, but it's kind of, mm, I don't know. I guess it's not too bad, but mm, I already have other juicy perfumes in my collection. I think I will keep it long enough to give you guys a full review on it or talk about it, incorporate it in, send talk of actually wearing it just to see how long it lasts, okay? So, it does, it smells like a run of the mill fragrance. Like it's not something that it kind of puts me in the mind frame of Jimmy Choo Low. That's kind of what it smells like in Floral, kind of along those lines. Like the it's Jimmy Choo Low. Yeah. So I don't know. I may keep it just to see how long it lasts, but it's most likely it's going back to the store. I mean, so yeah. But we are finally down to the last fragrance, and this one is was from Burlington as well. And this one has so surprised me. You guys, I kind of said I was interested in getting it, and I actually did purchase it. It was blind. I had never tried it, but this one is from Banana Republic, and this one is Gardenia and Cardamom. This fragrance, honey, look, I didn't wear this already several times. I wore this to bed. This fragrance is so nice. Okay, it has gardenia. I do believe it does have tuberose too, but it's really sweet and it has a little bit of a spice to it. This smells so good, you guys. Yes, it's if you don't really like a heavy white floral, I would not, I don't think you would like this, but you guys, how this dry, this was gorgeous. My sons and my husband like this. They said, oh, my, my husband was very surprised because of the price point of 19 Oh, this was $19.99, you guys. The packaging is really nice, too. I really was like, okay. I definitely smell that sweet, sweet white floral. It's gardenia, and I do believe it does have tuberose, too. But, you guys, these two florals together, they're sweet. So that's why I really, really like it. And you can definitely smell that spice of cardamom. And that's what I was talking about when I mentioned that I am really getting into the spiciness of cardamom. I have several fragrances that have cardamom in it. And it has that spice. It's that sexy spice. That sexy spice, honey. So my husband loved this on me. But it doesn't last. I see why it's so cheap. It does not last. Look, I'm going to spray. Let me just spray here. Yeah, it does not last. This does not last. But I mean, what can you expect for $20? So this is a beautiful scent, but this is a beautiful scent for bedtime. But this is what you put on for you to be it because it's not really heavy. It's not overpowering. Now, when you first spray it, of course, you're going to get that kick back from it. But once it sits on the skin for like five minutes, it starts to dissipate. It turns creamy and sweet. So that is what makes this fragrance so, so nice, you guys. It's perfect for bedtime. And you know, tuberose is a sexy, seductive flower anyway, okay? So it doesn't surprise me that my husband really liked it because it was sweet too, Like Because when tuberose and gardenia is not sweet, it, it, it smells kind of waxy. It's like overpowering to me. It being sweet made it all the much more better with that little bit of spice, honey. It's spice. It's spicy. It's sexy. It's nice for $19.99. Try to find these Banana Republics. I did not get the peony and peppercorn. That one was gone, honey. I had went and looked at some clothes and some shoes. By the time I came back, that was gone. Because after I did the video, I kind of went back and I was like, oh, well, let me go look at a couple of shirts and stuff. And I came back, honey, somebody grabbed that peony and peppercorn. So I didn't know what that smelled like. And I, now I'm just so upset that I didn't get it. But I did get the Gardenia and Cotton Mouth because they had several of these for $19.99. So yes, this was probably the best blind purchase that I've made in a while but I do actually like the aura from Moogler I'm really happy with this one as well so we're gonna have just have to see how long this lasts so yes so those are the items that I picked up from TJ Maxx Marshalls and Burlington I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more shop with me's comment down below and let me know and if you really enjoyed this video be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up share if you care and as always thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video